Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and cast time once again, and this time I'm gonna do things a bit differently. Um, I, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna do a cast, uh, this morning, but I ended up oversleeping and, uh, missing my window, so I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it this morning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. Um, so this is gonna be a sort of, kind of, kind of makeup video. Um, so this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be portions of this morning's uh, video as well as today's so Then let me uh, go ahead and intro this music real quick um, This is gonna be there's gonna be another one from uh, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse um, simply titled hell so, so let me go ahead and get this going some more dark ambient music and uh yes like uh like has been going on there's gonna be a fair amount of moving parts on here so some stuff i need to keep track of so just get ready for some mistakes here and there uh but i guess to start with just another good um just like yesterday just like yesterday uh today's session went pretty damn good um on my uh I know on my uh, FX3 tournaments, um, I I think there was maybe one game where I where I took first place, but in all the other tourneys I entered, um, I I at least placed decently. Um, I placed high on some of them. Um, there were probably like a couple here and there that I totally sucked, but not very many. So and then um and then yesterday in uh, Pinball Arcade, I act. I actually did pretty damn good. Um, in fact, I even beat a beat a, beat one of my high scores in one of the uh, one of the tables. That's like a really tough nut to crack. Like as far as uh, getting a high score goes, or until getting anywhere, um, it's one of those tables where I have to set it to four player just to stand a chance. And even then, I don't get much. I don't get much more beyond that. Just a chance. It's like there is there's seemingly magnets. There's a magnet. Or let me rephrase it. There's seemingly a magnet on the right side of the table by the right out lane. The ball almost always drains out there. So, like I said, it makes it very tough to get anything going. But no, um, this time around, did pretty damn good. Again, I, I beat a high score, but like I said, but otherwise just a good solid performance overall. So, I can't really ask for much more than that. And then, um, and then for today's, um, the Zachariah session, it, I mean, it just went total, oops, and already I'm messing up. Okay, but anyway, but the, the Zachariah session, it just, uh, it pretty much sucked. Couldn't really get anything going. Yeah. Despite the fact that these tables are Rube Goldberg tables, and they're already hard to begin with, I still couldn't get anything going. Like, nothing. Just constant ball drains, just... You know, constant flubbing of the flippers, since a lot of the flippers on these tables are not your traditional flippers. They're all little, small, tiny flippers, and they can be... You know, and they're often in... In really weird, inconceivable places. Not to mention, you got you got some very unnatural ball physics. It's like I kind of came to the conclusion that the the ball they use, the pinball they use in Zachariah is like a freaking beach ball. It's like real floaty and it just just like real bouncy and goes all over the damn place. It's like worse than pinball arcade. So, but luckily for today, it was at, um, it was, our, I was already, um, approaching my cutoff point for my session, because I did so damn good on FX3 and Arcade, that by the time I even got to Zachariah, it was almost going to be the end of my session anyway, so, not that big of a deal. Um, but for, uh, for yesterday's session, though, I decided to break out an old all-time all 90s classic, Space Cadet. Um, liked it, fun table, but 
Um, I must... I must have been spoiled lately with a controller. So... So a space cadet really could have used one. Because otherwise I have to use a keyboard. Which makes it uh, very hard to use. <sighs> oh, anyway. Anyway, I totally forgot to say at the start of this cast. Um, right now, it's 12.02 a.m. Normally, I do these around 3 a.m., but I'm going to go ahead and do this one early. Um, I kind of said this about my uh, my string of ins the uh, period of time, like a few weeks ago when I had constant insomnia. I would rather just go ahead and do a stream early rather than uh, try to do it right on time and risk oversleeping. Kind of like what happened uh, this morning. Like like I said, I missed my uh, I missed my window for my cast because I overslept. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, um, possibly from here on out, is just um, do my streams, or streams, do my cast videos around this time, like better early than late. I, mean, I would rather do it now and do it early like when I'm more fully awake than say around 2 a.m. when I'm starting to get when I'm starting to nod off and just you know you kind of get the idea you know I'd rather just do it early than I'll risk oversleeping and doing it late if at all so okay so back up to speed um but yeah I have a I have been streaming pinball a lot lately. Um, but uh, one of the I mean, just one of the reasons why I said this when I first started streaming pinball consistently is just I'm I'm actually pretty decent at it. Just I've been having a I've been having a string of uh, pretty good luck. Just you know, doing good and solid. Um. I've had some times where it's gotten pretty frustrating, but nothing to where, you know, nothing to wear that would make me want to just, you know, fuck it, and just, you know, want to, want to, like, throw my controller or anything like that, just, so. I kind of lost my train of thought. But yeah, like like I said, um, just I've I've been on a I've been on a hot streak, and like like again, like today and yesterday, I'm pretty much on a hot streak, or at the very least, a warm one. You know, a warm, mildly hot streak. Just I've been doing good overall, which is definitely not something that I could have said, you know, back in the day when. I was only streaming on two streaming pinball on Tuesdays because it just got so damn frustrating because of me constantly screwing up and all that. So And then um probably the other probably the other reason and um uh, and please believe me when I say that I'm not a I'm not a slave to the stats. Um like I said, some of my best streams um, are often some of my most quietest or when like, you know, like what are two of my regulars like Guitaro 87 and Jake Ryan come on and we have a great conversation between the three of us, that kind of thing. I mean, we've had, I've had great, I've had streams like that, you know, nobody else coming on dead as a doornail, but, you know, still having a great stream overall nonetheless, but, but, um, another reason, another reason why I'm, why I'm streaming pinball uh, consistently now is just people actually show up so it's kind of a it's like a synergistic relationship you know doing good means more people check me out which kind of motivates me into you know still performing good I, and uh I think that is one of the factors one of the factors in, in um you know why I'm doing pretty good you know people actually show up and uh and another thing too is these people are actually showing up Despite all my failures and, you know, 
the errors I make and stuff like that, they're they're still sticking around. So I guess with maybe, uh, I guess, you know, there's a few exceptions here and there where not really that hopping of a stream, but. Because I know, uh, back when I was streaming, uh, when I was streaming on Idle Champs. You know, hardly anybody showed up. You know, I mean, part of it too is, I mean, I'm streaming an Idle game. So, not really that active. Um, and I think, um, you know, aside from the, uh, the weekly Tuesday pinball streams, um, I also have a penchant for playing podcasts. You know, I mean, again, I'm playing an idle game, so it's not like, it's not like there's really much else to do. So, but on a podcast, but I know, I know at least one person has voiced their dislike of, uh, or has voiced their dislike of them, but, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not being cold harder or anything, but, I mean, I, you're not going to get this opportunity in any of the games I've streamed, because I'm, I'm going to be fairly active. So, why not? You know, then, um, and then back when I was, uh, back when I was streaming, uh, back when I was streaming fighting games, um, I think it was even worse. Um, uh, let me, here, let me, let me go back to one. Yeah, I think I was, uh, yeah, I think I was another idle game. Uh, Footsies and Clicker Heroes. Footsies and Cookie Clicker. Oh, damn. Guess I had some people on this one. Guess you must like me playing Footsies. Okay, here we go. Yeah. You know, back when I was streaming, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. I mean, part of this could have been on me too, because I spent most of my time doing a uh, single-player content, not doing a, uh, you know, not doing, not doing uh, online matches or anything like that. But um, my kind of reasoning on that is, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters was a game that was out for four years, and I had just started playing it, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't have much of a chance on, you know, against most of the other players, especially the ones that have been playing for four years. You know, might get lucky, and I'll, I'll play somebody as new to the game as I was. Um, in fact, I think Jake Ryan was one of those players. He was as new to the game as I was. But I think most everybody else on there, they've been playing a long time. Whoops. You know, so as uh you know, so it's kind of a kind of a recap. Just one of the reasons why I'm streaming pinball consistently is one, I'm good at it. You know, I've been playing ever since ever I've been into pinball ever since childhood. And I just knew I was forgetting something. Something was off. Um, I'm gonna go grab my uh Arizona green tea out of the fridge. I'll be back. And again, um, it's, I think I said this a few minutes ago, it's kind of a synergistic relationship here. When I, 
I think it's true in uh, true in streaming in general, the way I stream. But it's all it was especially true in pinball, you know. More you know, more people show up, motivates me into playing better. Maybe me playing better gets more people gets more people to show up. So and um Oh, and um a slight correction here. I've always had I've always had more people show up when playing pinball than any other game. Um, Final Fantasy XIV, kind of the same thing. It was pretty dead as a doornail. So, very few people hung around. So, that that was one. Um, I think Path of Exile, back when I streamed that, I think it was kind of in the middle. Um, I didn't have a ton of people. I'd have a ton of people, like, not as many as I'd get when streaming pinball, but more than uh, more than other games, so kind of in the middle. Um, Guild Wars 2, I think kind of fell in the same category as Final Fantasy XIV. Fairly dead. Um, one thing I Guild Wars 2 had... Um, it had a... I did have... I had a... Some of the people I, some of the people I played with on Guild Wars 2 were also my viewers. I often played with my viewers on Guild Wars 2. Uh, I think maybe one other person on Final Fantasy 14. His name was Aptitude. I think in fact he, he was in the same guild as me. So But again, but overall, in MMOs, the joint's not exactly jumping. So but uh, I do need to kind of cut it off here because uh, I have I've got more to talk about. But again, once again, to kind of recap, um, playing better causes playing better tends to bring in more people. More people want to check me out, um, and at the same time, more people that show up make me want to play better. So, so again, it's synergistic. But anyway, anyway, I could prop. There's probably more I could probably talk about, more I can elaborate on. But once again, I gotta, I gotta move along. Um, next thing that happened. Um, for those that don't know, the, what you're seeing used to be a thrift store. That's been here for at least. 12 years when I first moved into my apartment my apartment was right behind this building well they decided to go ahead and close it down because they want to build a stormwater pond here or I should say a a stormwater drainage ditch I think that's the uh, that's the uh, technical name for it well um, it, as of the 1st of April it shut down completely and uh, now they're, they're they've gutted the place out they They've yanked out the signs and and they're they're gonna start tearing it down. And this is a place I used to go go to off and on for 12 years. So bye bye history. Same with the Pizza Hut that was across the street from where I used to live. And for those that have uh, checked out my other cast, I'm probably gonna be repeating myself here. But yeah, they've um. But yeah, it it's pro it's up until. I'll more on this here in a moment, but I thought it was gonna just be a relegated to strip mall status, like the Pizza Hut that used to be across the street from where I lived for many years. They decided to shut that down some odd years ago and moved it to a strip mall. But no, I actually um, but no, I actually did a, I did a Google Maps search on it and it it got it got moved like way out the boonies. Or like out in the middle of nowhere. Like it's it's not even in a strip mall. I mean, heck, it's not even next to a highway. Like you gotta drive. I think you have to drive through like a a residential area. It's like it's like nestled right right in the right in a whole bunch of like single family houses. It's like in there. It's like it, it's like it was put there because there there wasn't any space anywhere else. Like I mean, hell, 
in that context there, I would actually have preferred to be being put in a damn strip mall. Because now, because now I basic, basically, I have to drive out to the middle of nowhere. There's like nothing else out there for me but that, the Salvation Army thrift store. Like, I could have like, I could have like walked to a subway or hell, walked to a pizza hut or something. I couldn't, I could have walked to a grocery store and do some grocery shopping next door or anything like that. Like, like, yeah, I got to drive through this residential area just to get to the thrift store. Never would have anticipated that. So, anyway, I gotta, I gotta break off for a moment. Hold on. Sinuses are starting to fuck with me. So, um, and um, and one other thing, this one here is kind of dated. Um. I rediscovered this channel a few days ago. His name is Narrow. Um, his forte is um. He makes uh, he makes textures, um, you know, for like games like Doom and other first-person shooters. You know, they're like the wall decorations and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, he also does uh. He does video game commentaries. In fact, uh, one of his uh. A couple of his videos, I think I watched at least, um, at least like a year ago. Uh, if it's even in here, I hope I don't have to do a whole lot of digging. Yeah, emulation, the law, and you where the hobby ends. And come on, what's the rest of it? And crime begins. Freaking awesome video. Um, I think he mostly talks about Nintendo and their their penchant for uh, for shutting down fan sites and emulation. You know, people that try to emulate their old games. You know, Nintendo trying to shut them down. But he in the in this video here he talks about that. Nero's another one. Um, I watched it and it was like really super awesome. Yeah, let's imagine a world without emulation. But yeah, that was another good video. But like I said, these are our videos that I watched like at least a year ago. But um, a few days ago, his video started popping up on my YouTube recommendations. So I just started watching more and more of them. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see this here, but I freaking love this. Yeah, I'll have to... Not interested in sponsorships, partnership programs, paid product endorsements, or other tacky garbage that uh, oftentimes causes me to skip over big chunks of other people's videos. And now, a word from our sponsor. Just fast forward and through all that crap. This guy here doesn't have any um, it's something else that occurred to me too. Is uh, back when I was watching this guy's videos, like on my uh, on my breaks and lunches at work, there he was uh, one of very few content creators that had ad-free videos. So I could watch his stuff without having to constantly refresh the uh, refresh the video over and over and over until I got an ad-free video. So. And plus, it looks like he's uh, he's been around a, uh, he's been around longer than I have. Oh no, wait. No, um, I think I started creating content on YouTube seven years. So yeah, he started right around the same time I did when I started put when I started putting up uh, Diablo three and Diablo two content. Big difference is he's he's got a. 23 million views, whereas I think I probably have like 10,000. Like, that's it. So. But, and, um, he's got a, he's got a really unique voice. It's very hard, very hard to describe. But, uh, he, he could almost have gotten a good career as a voice actor. So, 
but oh yeah, I just thought I'd thought I'd give a little bit of a shout out to him. So and um another thing um. Uh, apparently, uh, DNF, DNF Duel, it's a, it's a 2D fighting game. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta take a drink here. Okay, but anyway, um, I guess, uh, DNF Duel, it's a 2D fighter. Um, it's, uh, they're doing, they're doing another open beta testing. And, um, and one of my um, and I guess uh, one of the biggest complaints about this uh, open beta. Oh, that's just for decoration. Um, but one thing about the uh, open one complaint about the open beta is uh, there is no training mode, and there is also no offline mode either. Like the only mode they have is online. Like right off the bat, you gotta fight against other players. So I mean, I don't. Not a really big fan of that. Got to have a training mode. I mean, got to have a training mode, and there's got to be a single player mode on there. I'm. This is especially true for the uh, for the aforementioned Dragon Ball Fighters, a game that's been out for four years. Uh, I'm gonna need a training mode on that one. You know, for some kind of some kind of catch up mechanic. You know, just to stand a chance against these players that have been playing the game for so long. But again, this is um. I mean, because other now, this is an open beta. You know, so they're just it's just a game test. So I don't. I would like to think that they're gonna, when the actual game comes out, that there is gonna have all these modes. There's gonna be the training mode. There's gonna be various single player modes. There's gonna be these options. I'm hoping that they're gonna do this. But if not, I ain't going anywhere near this game. And, and again, as, uh, as whiny as it might sound, I mean, I gotta have a training mode. You know, I wanna be able to get my shit figured out before, you know, actually actually taking on opponents. And, you know, I otherwise, to me, it's just a reversion back to the 90s arcades where the only way to learn is by, uh, Either A, playing a uh, playing single player against a computer, or B, going up against another component, another against another opponent that that's probably gonna end up kicking their ass. I mean, shit like that was the reason why uh why I would pull into an arcade like right when the place opened up. You know, it's, you know, so that nobody else was there. That way, so I could actually play these games, you know, these fighting games by myself, actually having a chance to figure out stuff, and not just do the tired old stupid sink or swim crap that that a lot of the uh, players had. You know, get good, scrub. No, I'm just gonna go over here and play pinball. You know, you know, a, a, a type of game genre that not a whole lot of people care for. You know. Oh, here, let me go play. Let me go play Raiden. Uh, a single player, you know, a single player shoot them, you know, or something like that, or something that had nothing to do with fighting games, or for the one single arcade that had it, Time Killers. <laughs> a fighting game that nobody played. I mean, I didn't know it at the time, but everybody had a low opinion. Hang on, I'm gonna, I gotta take another drink. <laughs> My throat's starting to get parched. But yeah, but, but again, kind of rewind and a recap. Um, but uh, but for right now, the open beta, it doesn't have a training mode or offline mode. But at, considering this is just an open beta, it's understandable. Because uh, like I said, all this is is just an open beta. They don't they don't want to waste any more any resources right now on throwing in all that other other stuff. All they're doing is they're just testing the game out. So. If, uh, if it does come out with a training mode and all that, then chances are I might I might try to download it and play it. But if not, then nope. So. Uh, but 
otherwise, uh, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say, so, so, yeah, um, oh, let me, let me stop. I just now remembered, um, when I was talking about this earlier, I was in no, in no way denigrating any of my regulars. I, I was not saying, you know, I wasn't saying for a minute that my regulars that come on my channel don't matter. I was trying to say this all throughout me talking about this, but uh, it just, it kind of got lost in the shuffle, but before I forget again, so yeah, my regulars, in my mind, the regulars are the ones that actually make the stream. So, again, some of my best streams, some of my best streams I've had, have only had like maybe like a few actual people on it, but you know, I've had great conversations with the, the few people that came on. So, so yeah, I, I was trying to, I was trying to say that earlier. So definitely not a knock on my regulars. Again, the regulars are the ones that really make my stream. So, they're the foundation. It's, it's just like in real life. I mean, it's, it's the repeat customers that really keep your store in business. I mean, everybody else, they're just, you know, going to come and go like water. But again, it's, it's the consistent customers that keep your business in business. So, same thing with streaming. So, anyway, I'm kind of babbling on too much. So, I'll just go ahead and end it here. So, thanks everybody for uh, tuning in and listening to me. I appreciate that. And again, um, nothing set in stone yet. But there is going to be a chance that I might start doing my cast videos around this time now. You know, where I'm under less of a time constraint. But until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.